Bringing you the latest from Brooks training camp. Joint practices with the Miami Dolphins and news came out that Tom Brady will be away from the Buccaneers for a while to handle some personal situation. Brady will return after next week's preseason game against the Titans. That one is taking place on August 20th. Head coach Todd Bowles previously announced that Brady would not play the preseason opener Saturday against the Dolphins, now announcing he's dealing with a personal non-football related situation. But back to Bowles, the defensive mastermind there. And to say that his defensive scheme is intimidating, it would be an understatement. Bowles, of course, the Buccaneers defensive coordinator over the last three seasons. He will still be calling the defensive plays in 2022. And our the head coach, Todd Bowles, had a one-on-one -on -one chat with our very own Josina Anderson. So we are here with Bucks head coach Todd Bowles, standing by here with Josina Anderson, yours truly. I appreciate you talking with us today. Um, obviously, you are in your second uh, stint as head coach. I think the last time I saw you was in Florham Park. So, you know, I, I got to ask you before we start, just what are some of the things that already stand out to you about the differences in how you're approaching leading a team and coaching a team relative to the past? I think anytime you're a second time head coach, you learn things from the first time you have the answers to the test already. The first time you don't have the answers to the test, so I think I'm a lot calmer. I think I understand letting my coaches coach and making decisions on things that happen every day as opposed to them surprising you as a first-time head coach. You handle them kind of the same way, but you kind of have the answers right now, and you just brush it off your shoulders instead of carry it with you. Yeah, we definitely don't want any surprises. And speaking of that, you just had your press conference over there. You talked about Tom Brady, obviously excused for personal reasons. Not a surprise to you because you said this is something that you guys talked about beforehand. But can you describe how you feel like there may be an impact to the acclimation process, especially trying to work in some new wide receivers and what have you relative to getting ready for the season? Well, everyone's been getting reps right now. So Tom came in the first two weeks as we scheduled to get acclimated with the team and get some chemistry with the guys. And knowing he wasn't playing the first two games, we try to get Blaine and Kyle as many reps as we can and get the receivers acclimated as well. So we understand the plan we had going forward. And we just look for him to get back, and we'll be waiting for him with open arms. And speaking of trying to get that chemistry, you have some wide receivers dealing with injuries, Mike Evans, you know, what have you, Chris Godwin trying to work his way back, Paramount Gage. Can you kind of just walk through really quickly where each of those are relative to their return status? They're all camp-type injuries. We don't have a problem with them being ready for opening day. It's just day-to-day -day tweaks that they got to deal with that everybody gets in camp, and we're not trying to rush them back. We try to make sure they're ready for the opener and not the first or second preseason game. Uh, last couple here, how do you feel like uh, some of the matchups are going out here? Obviously, you have the opportunity of a joint practice with the Dolphins here. A lot of talk about Tyreek Hill and Carlton Davis and things like that. Dolphins were pretty animated here on the offensive side. How do you see some of those one-on-one -on -one matchups going relative to your defense in that secondary? It's been great matchups. We, we're playing against great players. Tyreek obviously is a great player. Waddle is a great player. They have a bunch of them over there on the defensive side as well. So the matchups have been great. The work has been great. It's been a lot of give and take, and I think we got better. I think they did too. Last question. One of your hallmark signatures that you put on a defense is just getting them better on the run side. Before you came here, I think they were ranked 18th in run. After you were here, defensive coordinator, they were first. Last year, you guys finished third in the run. What are some of the signature things that you do to make a run defense better? Just discipline. You know, discipline. They're very strong. Discipline and technique. We know we can't get after the quarterback if we don't stop the run. Mm -hmm. And the measuring stick for this team this, for this year? We're trying to win the whole thing. You yeah. know, there, there are steps to go in winning the whole thing, but we're trying to win the whole thing. We're only sipping out cups. All right, for Todd Bowles, I'm Josina Anderson. Back to you guys. Always a good time, Josina. Trying to win the whole thing. That is the goal. And you see the odds there. The Bills right now, the favorites, but the Buccaneers right behind them at plus 800. And you see Tom Brady. He's going to be looking for ring number eight. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.